In my previous video, I've shown you how to auto forward emails in Outlook. However, some people have said that this method didn't work for them. So now I'm going to show you another method that should work no matter what. Go to your home tab, click here under the rules and select manage rules and alerts from the apply changes to this folder. Make sure to select the email ID from where you want the emails to be forwarded from. Then select new rule under start from a blank rule select apply rule on messages i receive then click on next here you can give conditions for the rule to work but since we want to forward all the emails simply click on next and then you get a message saying this rule will be applied to every message you receive so click on yes because that's what we want here you got two options to forward emails one is to forward it as a forward email and the other is to forward it as an attachment so i prefer it as an email so select it and here under forwarded to people or public group select people or public group to type the email id that you want the emails to forward to make sure the email id is correct because you don't want to forward it to the wrong person and then click on ok then click on next here you can specify exceptions otherwise click on next you can change the rules name click on finish here you can see the new rule is created under the rule description you can see this rule will be applied after the messages arrives and then it will be forwarded to this specified email however if you want all your old emails to be also forwarded then you should click on run rules now then select the rule you want to apply now and click on run now then Outlook would start to forward all your emails. I cancel it because I don't want all my old emails forwarded. Then click on close, click on apply, click on OK. Now if I go to the other inbox, you can see all the emails are now forwarded to here. If you don't want to get forwarded emails, but redirected emails, then you should watch my previous video. However, as I said in the beginning of this video, that option won't be available on all email types, but it's better to check that before applying this.